do? Well, you could make the case that we already know by looking at these tribes in the Amazon that are as if living cavemen. But they fought amongst each other so much. And the, they, that was their sport in a way. Yeah. I mean, and, and they had that as killing. It was, it was a way of becoming, you know, trained as a predator. Yeah. And, and How many people speak Navajo exclusively? There's a bunch. That's insane. I didn't even know that that existed. I didn't know that inside of this country, yes, yeah. there were t entire yeah. cultures of people that speak in the original native language. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that existed. Well, it's probably very, you know, thin at these upper generations because the, the younger ones are... Arguably the best sounding... Vo their language is like the coolest sounding language ever. It's got that... You know, there's like a, a sound to it. Like, there's something to their accent that just... Uh, I guess it's like we're programmed to think of Native Americans as like spiritual and authentic... You know, there's like this sound to it. Like, do you remember that scene with Clint Eastwood? Was it the outlaw Josie Wales where he met that Indian chief and they got together and these are my words of life and also my words of death. And for us, it, it almost like harkens to a time right before we fucked up the country. <laughs> you know, right when the first marauders on wooden wheels rolled their platforms covered in tarp across the entire continent to find a spot to have babies. Not that it was like this perfect paradise before we got here. Definitely wasn't. Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting perspective that some people gr grab onto. Um, that the Native American people were completely at peace with each, with each other. They definitely weren't. Um, they're were amazing. It's nothing to take away from their cultures. 